hello everyone creative Venus here and welcome to another beautiful tutorial and today we're gonna create this awesome slide in Google slides and not in PowerPoint so I hope you will like it so please subscribe to our channel join the membership hit the notification bell icon so before moving further let's watch this what if you will get all the pre-built business diagrams charts plans process diagrams and much more in just one tool all you need is just edit, customize, change color, and it's ready. eDraw Max is a great business diagram and charts tool which gives you the ability to present the information in the best possible way. Be it flowcharts, forms, infographics, float plans, or industrial designs, it has got everything. It's super easy and it saves time. It's a great software for all of your business reporting and documentation purposes. For more information about eDraw Max, refer to the links in the video description. So coming back to the tutorial, this is Google slide interface and first we will clear everything from the slide deck. We want to keep it blank because we start every slide from a blank template or blank canvas, I would say. So first we will change the background here and let's keep it dark. The color scheme here I'm using is dark, blacks and grays and some blue as well so let's insert this shape so this is what do you call this shape uh, kind of rectangle with chopped edges so i have inserted it here i've removed its outline The idea here is to create a background texture. So here you can see my struggle as you know I'm coming from PowerPoint background to Google Slides and I'm still struggling to find options here. So But yeah, it's fun. Uh, it's always good to explore new tools to do something creative. So now insert this square here and we will remove its outline. So the next step is to insert, to fill color in this square. So as you can see till now, it's very easy, very simple and nothing complex here. So now the next part is to, you know, uh, format this rectangle shape, but it would be great if I can find that option here because it was there a couple of minutes ago and here it is. Thank God. So just experiment with these sliders to get the best shadow output. Never hesitate to experiment. Do it as long as you get the best output so now it's looking better now let's insert an image which i have downloaded from pexels.com and let's place it here in powerpoint what we used to do is we used to insert the shape and then fill image into the shape but here I couldn't find that information so that's why we have directly inserted this image so now let's increase the height of this rectangle a bit and make sure it is well placed now select both these items group them together and align to center once done let's again ungroup these so you can see i mean our design template is almost ready now duplicate this rectangle and place it over this image make sure it covers the image edge to edge and now we will fill a nice color in this shape and we will increase its transparency so i am trying to find the right color and the right option to do that 
as I'm trying it after such a long time so you can see I'm struggling a bit to find the options so here you go now right click order bring to front so here our design is ready now comes the next part that is text so guys here we can you know try different text schemes here and in the form of colors and styles so you can experiment here and try different things because it depends upon the information you want to present it could be some small paragraph it could be bullet points could be some icon with stats or facts so what i'm trying to do here is i'm trying to take a more general approach so here i will place text on the left and some stats on the right and text is talking about that uh, stats like what you have achieved or what you have completed so it's a more uh, you know common approach that i'm following and this is all dummy text where you can edit and you can add information as per your own requirement based on the topic of your slide now again insert the text box and write here subscribe so that whenever you look at this slide you come to my channel and subscribe our channel so of course you can write anything you want here some small description some small subtitle anything so these things look good and make sure the word you write here i mean it should be very important word you don't have to fill the space this word should hit the you know subconscious mind of the user so that's how you can utilize the space in powerpoints to you know uh, keep important words here like lead generation for example if it's a sales presentation and you are talking about sales here so those words create a lot of impact in the mind of the reader don't fill the space writing anything here use some important words business keywords important business you know phrases that that are used so that's how you utilize the space in presentation and that's what presentations are for now again reuse that subscribe text box duplicate it place it here and now write the text here growth so i'm trying to showcase here 65 percent growth so you can edit it as per your own requirements so now our text is also ready now let's do one more thing every time you see any presentation slide the title is always written on the top but we are taking a different approach here we will write the title at the bottom you don't always have to go you know with the traditional approach where everything should be come at the top and footer is at the bottom and i mean of course those are good but the time has changed this is a more dynamic world you know what you are doing you are breaking the ice i mean you are giving the reader a new way or a new window to look at the information so this is how you grab the attention of the user by doing things differently you don't have to make it complex to look unique or different but yeah you can try these small things so now let's insert the text box one last time and write here the main title of this presentation slide for example financial year for this financial year you are showcasing the achievements so that's how you can write things here so yeah this is the 
tutorial for Google Slides. So I hope you will like this video. So here is the final output. Please subscribe to our channel, join the membership which is really important to support us and this way you will help us to bring out more such beautiful and awesome creative work so thank you everyone also you can share this video with maximum number of users uh, you can share this video with your friends colleagues family circles in your institutes schools colleges anywhere and also you can hit the like button also you need to you know share your thoughts if you have some you can always you know write your thoughts in the comment section and give me your feedback so that's how it works so thank you everyone you guys have been such a lovely audience and it's great if you have watched this video till the end so that's awesome so thank you